Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome everybody and welcome to a final reveal and the final reveal is on the M1132 Striker ESB with Mind Roller. Yes, that uh, was a bit of a mouthful. Now I bought this kit quite a while ago. I bought it on a whim because I'm not a frontline armor man. I do like the supporting vehicles and everything else. And this just caught my eye. And this is probably, the, yeah it is. It's, this is the second piece of sort of modern armor that I've actually built. Uh, this is a trumpeter kit. And I, I'll tell you lads, it's great absolutely beautiful kit it went together lovely there was no fit issues it was a joy to put together it just took me a long time because I bought this strictly as a, a sort of like a, a kit to do in between kits you know when you're waiting probably something for paint to dry something just to do a couple of hours on and that's the reason why it's been so long before I've done the final reveal and also my good mate John Moore told me that I've got too many kits on the shelf that I've got to get some finished off and well it's, it is true I have got quite a few kits on the shelf and we'll get straight off the subject anyway lovely kit went together nice uh, I just did a few of my own things I did the aerials uh, which is done from uh, styrene and tied them back down on John John Moore's authorization. He told me that they would have them tied back like that. So if John says that's right, I'm going to do it. Uh, the winch cable, I twisted that just using, I think it was four pieces of 0 0.2 wire, just twist them together. As I weren't too happy with the string that they, I think it, I think it was a bit of string. I might be wrong there. It might be a piece of wire. Cause I'm never happy with them. Uh, cables anyway so uh, that's that they're the bits I did and also I added these uh, poles at the front they did supply two little short poles but I just felt they needed to be a little bit bigger so I may I use the same styrene and made them just a little bit bigger uh, weathering wise well I'll tell you what I, I, I'll I used a rattle can standard uh, car primer to prime it all. Uh, then I used, well I can't tell you what green it was because I didn't really have sort of like the NATO type green. So I just slopped a few greens together, made a colour and that's what it turned out. Not too bad, not too bad. Actually it is a little bit darker than it is on the film actually because it, it is slightly darker. Give it a good uh, dosing with that, sprayed that all over, pin washed it, just use an ordinary pin wash, and then I just used a little bit of pigment. Uh, that's all I did uh, as the weathering, just give it a slightly dusty, mucky effect. Bit cautious because uh, modern armour, you know, I mean, it was taken back home, washed. Uh, lovingly uh, patched up you know touched up with paint and that and put back for the next exercise so uh, I didn't want to go too mad on the weathering but probably on the next one I probably will attempt a little bit more uh, than what I did with this one it was just more being cautious than anything else and not really doing much modern armor like I say uh, DR9 yeah the, the D9R was the first bit. This is my second piece of uh, modern armor. So I haven't done a great deal and not had a great deal of experience. Uh, other things I used on the actual rollers, I used the AK True Metal, just to give them a, a metally look, which hasn't come out too bad. And that's about it. Uh, a bit of blue on the uh, lenses on the periscope lenses should I say a little bit of orange in the in the light and that's about it that that is basically all I've done I've not done a great deal to it and if anyone says well it shows well yeah it does 
it does really. She's not going to win no beauty competitions, but I'm happy with it, and it's just another step forward uh, on the road to doing modern armour. So every kit you do is a bit more experience. So all in all, I'm quite happy. Uh, I'm, I've done the little base, just a standard little base, nothing too special. A little bit of sand, uh, a bit of a rut where the vehicle's running. I didn't want to do too much because I I just like the vehicle, and it probably would be another vehicle that I would actually build again. Uh, I did notice there's a, quite a few strikers, uh, different variants. They're basically all the same, but they just stick something else onto it. But I probably would be looking for something uh, like that in the future. Uh, not straight away because I've got other uh, projects on the go if you didn't know we've got the Terminator that's almost complete now so that will be the next reveal and then I've got the uh, I can't remember the name of it now a Russian one to build which looks pretty interesting as well so they're all to come so that's about it guys that's it uh, that's about as much as I can say, that's as much as I can stretch this video out. So thank you very much for joining me. Oh, by the way, I will tag a few pictures on the end uh, so you can see a little bit better. I'm just going to say thank you very much and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.